If you are a first time home buyer, I can almost guarantee you that you're thinking, I would absolutely love to buy a house, but I don't have enough money for a down payment. And although you might think that's true, it's not. I know from personal experience, and I'm about to break down for you the power of a down payment assistance program. We're talking about literally tens of thousands of dollars, in some cases just gifted to you to get you into your first house. In this particular video, I'm gonna give you the basics that you need to know to get started with a down payment assistance program, and this is where it gets really good for you. This is the first video of many of an entire playlist that I am making with all of the absolute best down payment assistance programs that exist in 2021 so that you can get a house this year regardless of what state you live in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything along this journey. We're jumping the episode right now. What's up everyone, welcome back to the Money Metcon podcast. In this podcast, we're figuring out how to get your money working hard for you rather than you working hard for your money. And a down payment assistance program is a powerful tool. I actually had a friend in Denver, which is an incredibly expensive real estate market, buy a $350,000 home. And after applying for a down payment assistance program, he only came out of pocket $3,000 to buy his home out the door. So obviously, who wouldn't want this? And like I said, in this video, we're breaking down the basic details you need to know about down payment assistance programs. So there are four main types of down payment assistance programs. The first being a grant, which literally means gifted money. You don't have to pay grant money back. It is literally a gift. So the other three ways are all loans, which means you have to pay them back in some way, shape, or form. The first way is a pretty traditional way. Like someone gives you $10,000 and over the course of the loan, you are slowly paying back that loan over time. Pretty simple. The second type of down payment assistance loan is one with deferred payments, which literally means someone will give you, for example, $10,000 to help you close on your house, and then you don't make another payment on that loan until you either refinance or sell the house. And the fourth type of loan for a down payment assistance program is one that is forgiven after a set number of years. So usually five, 10, 15 years. After a set number of years, it's forgiven, and then you only have to repay it back once you, again, refinance or sell the home. So those are the four most typical kinds of down payment assistance programs. So now obviously the next question is how do you get qualified for one of these programs? First of all, you typically need some sort of credit. However, there are caveats where people are like, hey, even if you don't have credit, come talk to me, we'll see if we can figure something out. So no matter what, don't write off the opportunity even if you have very little credit or no credit at all. Secondly, it's typically restricted to first time home buyers. It's strictly for people that are buying their first house. Which by the way, here's a pro tip, if you're married, and you buy your first house, let's say the husband buys the first house and doesn't put the wife on the title, then that's technically your first house. And then let's say you come back around and your wife technically wants to buy her own house for the first time. Now you got to take advantage of this program two separate times. So try and use that. Another typical qualification is that it needs to be a low to moderate income situation. So if you're making a ton of money in your day job, it's probably going to be not impossible, but a little bit harder to qualify for any of these programs. Another thing is that the buyer has to use this as their primary residence. So you can't use down payment assistance programs, get in your house, and then three months later, use it as a rental property. The intent usually is that you have to use it as your main property that that you're living in. However, you can get around this, which is why you should stick around because you can refinance out of a lot of these down payment assistance programs and then use them as rental properties, which is obviously super clutch. And then finally, you're going to want to work with an approved mortgage lender for whatever loan you're working with. So not every lender necessarily has ability to these down payment assistance program. So you have to find lenders that are approved to give you these assistance programs. So those are the basic details. However, even if you're going through that list and you're like, ah, there's one of those boxes that I don't check, just don't assume that you can't apply. In many cases, these assistance programs are designed to legitimately help people who don't have a ton of money, who don't have a bunch of credit history, who are having a hard time buying a house for the first time. So just don't assume anything, contact a lender and figure it out. So with that being said, what are your next steps? One of them is comment down below in this video what state you're from because I'm trying to compile the best resource in all of 2021 for down payment assistance programs. So if you live in a specific state and you're looking for a down payment assistance program, I wanna do some research in those states. Then number two, just subscribe and then hit the notification bell so that when your opportunity comes up or as you're doing more research, you can come back to this resource and hopefully it's helpful for you. I truly believe that 2021 is one of the best years to buy a house, period. 
be that guy that buys a house for the first time in 2021 by using these programs. This is the Money Metcom Podcast. We'll talk to you next time. (laughs) 